Alright, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I want to go ahead and do a review on the new Fenty Hydrating Foundation. And I feel like on my channel, a lot of people have been asking me to review this. So I went ahead and grabbed it yesterday when it launched. And I also grabbed their Pro Filter Mattifying Primer because I do have oily skin. So I'm kind of excited to see how these two mix together because if it's a really good combo, I'm going to be wearing this a lot in the summer, especially when it comes to the fall time. I feel like this is like the perfect foundation to wear. And I do have their um, Pro Filter soft matte foundation which i never really wear because the formula is a little bit difficult to work with for my skin at least um i do have oily skin but i found this to be a little bit too drying so i feel like this one the hydrating foundation will be a little bit easier to work with so once again and see my final thoughts on these two then go ahead and keep on watching all right so first and first i do have the prices for you guys and the hydrating foundation is 35 dollars and the pro filter primer is 32 dollars so all together with tax i paid 71.86 which is a little bit pricey um, I didn't know I paid that much yesterday because I was in a rush. So yeah, the total together is $71.86. Um, but moving on to the mattifying primer, I do want to use this first. And it's called their True Matte Primer. Now, I never used their Soft Matte Primer before just because I really wasn't intrigued to use that one. Um, but with this, I've heard a lot of good things about it. So it has a nice frosted bottle. Really, really cute. I do love the packaging because it's so sleek. And I don't know, it's just a really cute packaging. Uh, and with this, I feel like I have to go ahead and shake it up for some reason. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and read what it claims to do. So it claims to be a shine stop and pour diffuse and finish and also extend your makeup wear. And that's all it says on here. So really, really simple and straight to the point. So let me go ahead and squeeze it on the back of my hand. Now, this is what it looks like. It is a little bit liquidy, more liquidy than I thought it would be. But let me apply it to the face. One thing I will say about this is I love the fact that it doesn't leave that white cast on the face because when it comes to mattifying primers, they usually leave a white cast because they're very, you know, drying on the skin. But with this, it doesn't feel drying at all. It feels very, like, moisturizing. So, I don't know. I really like this. I didn't expect for it to feel like this for some reason, but I really like the way it applies on the skin. So looking at my skin, I will say it looks very smooth, you guys. Like my pores are completely filled in and everything just looks really nice. So I will say with this primer, you can go ahead and wear it by yourself. You really don't need to wear anything with this primer because it makes your skin look really nice already. So I will give it that. But moving on to the foundation itself, I did go ahead and pick up the shade 430. And my perfect shade, you guys, would be 425. I hope one day she goes ahead and creates that shade because I feel like 420 is a little bit too light for me. And 430 is a little bit too orange and red. So 425, if she ever creates it. I'll be so freaking happy. Um, but let's go ahead and read the claims of this foundation. So it claims to be a hydrated medium to full coverage foundation for all skin tones. And it's also long wear and light as air on the face. So that is all it says on there. And let me open this up and see the packaging. Now with the packaging, I know some people weren't too fond of this because you're paying like $32 for this and you're getting a squeezy too. But at the same time, I kind of like it because it's different than what's out there. Um, their regular foundation looks just like this. You guys have seen it before. Um, but this is what it looks like. But I do like the squeezy too. So I'm just squeezing it onto the back of my hand. And this is what the shade looks like. So in person, I feel like it's a little bit too orange and red. And hopefully it doesn't oxidize. That is my biggest thing when it came to this other foundation. It oxidized so bad on me but with this i heard it doesn't do that so i'm pretty excited to see how it wears throughout the day but let me just apply it onto the skin and taking my sponge i'm gonna go ahead and blend it onto the skin So one thing I quickly want to mention is I love the way this blends onto the skin. I feel like it has like a gel consistency to it. The way it blends, you guys, it's very easy to work with. It just looks like skin so far, and I'm not struggling at all because one of my biggest things when it came to the other foundation is the formula was a little bit hard to work with, but with this, you don't have to try too hard. So, so far, I'm loving the way it looks on the skin. So I'm sure y'all can see on camera, but this shade is a little bit too dark for me. If you look at my chest area, it's a little bit too dark. And right now I'm at the darkest because it is summertime. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just wish it would come out with 425 because I feel like that shade would be absolutely perfect. But I don't know. I feel like the foundation looks really good on the skin so far. So I can't really, really complain. 
And when it comes to coverage, I will say it's a very medium to full coverage foundation because I can kind of still see my skin peeking through just a little bit. But if I do want to go ahead and build it up, I can definitely go ahead and do that. So, so far it's applying really well. I love the glow it has given my skin. It has a very nice, healthy glow to the skin and I just love the way it looks. So. So looking past the color, I will say I love the way it applied on the skin. I feel like it looks very nice and just glowy and just, it looks very healthy, so I will give it that. Um, the only thing I don't like, of course, is the color. I feel like it's a little bit too red and orange on my skin. Um, but besides that, I really have no other complaints. But moving on to the Pro Filter Concealer, I do have it in the shade 410. I'm going to apply a little bit of this on the face. Um, when it comes to this concealer, I actually prefer it for my eyes because it's a very nice matte concealer. It dries matte, so when you blend your eyeshadows on top, it's just so easy to work with so i love it for that more than anything but i'm still gonna apply it on the face for you guys You guys, I just realized I had my audio off for a little bit, so I'm so sorry if it sounded a little bit different, but I just turned it back on. But moving back to concealer, I will say the foundation and the concealer pair really nicely together. I will say I prefer this combo a little bit more than the mattifying foundation because it's just a little bit too drying for me. But with this, the hydrating foundation and the mattifying concealer, it's just a really nice combo on my skin. And to set my under eyes, I'm using my Pro Filter Powder in the shade Honey. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and set my face with the Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder. Now for bronzer, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty Bronzer all over my face. I really don't need a lot of bronzer because the foundation is already a little bit dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a light layer. Now moving on to blush, I'm taking my MAC blush in the shade Raisin and to highlight, I'm using my Artist Couture highlighter in the shade Conceited. And last but not least, it's the lips. I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Uncuffed and also Unveiled Stunner Lip Paints on my lips. It's my favorite combo to wear as of lately and I do need to get some new ones because these are running out. All right, so it's currently 10:26 right now, and this is what my face looks like. I will say, after concealing and baking, it got a little bit more neutral. It's not as red or orange on the skin anymore, so I will give it that. So yeah, I really don't have any complaints about the foundation. I just feel like throughout the day, I may get a little bit more oily, but that's the only thing I can say about it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do an eight-hour test. I will be back a little bit later on, and hopefully, the foundation doesn't oxidize or do anything too crazy. If it stays like this, you guys, I'm gonna be so happy with the foundation so yeah with that being said i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so it's currently 6 49 right now and this is what my face looks like you guys like i am low-key impressed because when it came to this foundation i just knew for a fact that by eight hours i was gonna be greasy i was gonna be oily but i feel like my skin looks like it has like a nice glow to it don't get me wrong i look a little bit oily but at the same time i thought it would be a lot worse because it's a hydrating foundation so i will say i'm very very impressed so far and also i do want to mention one thing when it came to my face you guys i feel like i need to blot throughout the day but when i go ahead and blot nothing really came through like there was no oil or transfer it's just a really good foundation and it may be the primer that i tried earlier so I'm not sure if that plays a part in that, but if you do have oily skin, if you go ahead and use a mattifying primer, you should be good to go. But this combo, you guys, is absolutely beautiful on my skin. Let me go ahead and block though because I am a little bit, a little bit oily. Um, but let me just block my skin. Not that most of the oil is off my face. I will say my skin still looks pretty, pretty good. Like everything looks intact. The only thing I will say is around the chin area, it did come off just a little bit, but it doesn't look bad at all. So my final thoughts on this whole entire foundation review, I will say if you do have dry skin or oily skin, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and try it out because I feel like it works for both skin types. And if you do have oily skin, make sure you use a mattifying primer. But that's my final thoughts on this foundation review. Let me know what you think about it down below. If they do come out with a shade 425, you guys, I feel like that would be like my perfect 
perfect shade. So Rihanna, if you're listening, please make sure you go ahead and come up with a shade 425 because I will be the happiest person in the whole entire world, okay? So that's my final thoughts on foundation review. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you guys in my next one.